YouTube and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about uh, how to make uh, a boot USB, uh, a high range boot CD or USB. Uh, just to give you an idea for those of you that don't know what high range boot CD is, I mean this is the best explanation uh, or definition for boot, uh, for boot uh, CD or USB high range. So, it is a bootable software containing a number of diagnostic, uh, diagnostic programs such as partition, partitioning agents, system performance benchmark, disk cloning, imaging, tools, data recovery, MBR tools, BIOS tools, and many other fixing various computer problems, which is absolutely true. Uh, with this, uh, it's a very powerful tool uh, that I think anybody who uh, has a reasonable knowledge of computer or as a computer technician should have this tool. Uh, so we're going to make the USB. Uh, I'm not going to make the CD version today. I'm going to make the USB because the USB is, I think is a lot better. Um, and just, so you know, the high range is a, is a licensed freeware. Uh, that's why when I came across this on uh, eBay, actually a lot of people are actually selling this, as you can see. Um, so for the, for this, all you need is an eight gigabyte USB stick or a memory stick, thumb drive, whatever you want to call it. I have a sixteen gigabyte, and we're gonna go ahead and make this. So you can. Uh, I will, by the way, post uh, the the links to on my video description uh, to the websites that are um, related to making the Irons boot USB. Uh, so first of all, you are you have to uh, go to this website. Here it will show you on how to make a USB. Uh, basically, you will need to download the software, which is which is right here, to uh, format the USB because it, this is this software is a little bit different than formatting it from Windows uh, Windows tool. Uh, but if you format it from Windows, it's not going to work. So you're going to have to use this tool to format your USB. Uh, USB stick and then you're gonna download also the software which the name is right here which is this, this software is gonna make it uh, make the USB bootable I already have the software I'm just gonna quickly demo this for you guys uh, which is right here so first of all for the USB format I uh, just have to run this as administrator and um, you're gonna you're gonna like very simple fat32 quick format you're gonna start format I'm not gonna do it because it's uh, just to save time I have already done this that's all you have to do you make sure you select on the drop down menu your USB stick once you did that then you're gonna come back here and and uh, run the uh, bootable making the USB stick bootable like I mentioned before, all these softwares that I'm opening are all on this website. First, first one was this one for formatting, and this is the second one that I just opened. So you're gonna select your desk. Make sure you choose your uh, USB desk. So mine is the 16 gigabyte, uh, but it, as you can see, it shows 14 gigs over here. You select that one. And you click on refresh, make sure you hit refresh here. Then you're gonna select on hold desk, okay? And it is gonna be format, uh, it is gonna be uh, made bootable in MBR format. Then you're gonna install, it's gonna uh, bring uh, like a, a, a black uh, DOS window. All you have to do is just press enter. It, it's not, it's gonna take like two seconds. That, that's it. So you're gonna exit, exit out of this. Once you have done that, then you're gonna um, download the high image, which you can get it from the either you can go to uh, 
uh, to the Hiren's website. You can go here, which I've already brought up the link over here. And just scroll down. When you come to, you need to get the 15.2 version. That's the latest one. And you're just going to come down here and download this image. Okay, once you download that, that image, all you have to do is, uh, you just select it all, copy it, and you paste it on your um, USB drive. It is, it is, it is going to take some time, so I, like I said, I've already done it, I'm not going to do it, just to save time for the purpose of this video. And once you did that, you should get an icon like this, that, that means that it is, um, it is ready and it is bootable. So, you can run this on your actual computer. You can bring up the uh, um, the high rents menu, which you will have access to all the softwares. Or you can you can actually um, let's say you are in in a, in a scenario that you don't you can't access your computer because your computer is infected with virus. So you're gonna have to boot it from your um, from your BIOS. You have to select uh, depending on what what kind of a BIOS you have. I mean, restore your comp computer. Either you press F2 or delete. Depends if you have Amy's BIOS or MSI or Phoenix. I mean, mine is uh, MSI, so it's F2. Um, you just you just boot from the USB. But for the purpose of this video, I am gonna boot from from a virtual because it's a lot easier instead of me restarting the computer. So I'm going to run this and the USB is al already plugged in. And I'm going to select the USB and it's going to bring up the um, the high range menu, which uh, you will see some of the uh, some of the things that you can do um, from the uh, command prompt from the BIOS. So as you can see you have hard disk management, cloning and diagnostic data recovery, antivirus rescue, boot control, hardware diagnostics, mini XP. So I'm gonna f I'm gonna boot to many many Windows XP uh, because I do want to show you guys um, some of the really important things uh, that that's very useful uh, that you need to know regarding high rents. We're just going to wait for this to load. Okay, so we got the Windows XP uh, loading here. So in just a moment, it's going to load the mini Windows XP. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we are in Windows XP. So imagine that you were you were actually. Um, your computer weren't you weren't able to get any computer, but you were able to boot from your USB to Mini Windows PE. So this is a Windows PE. So from here, you will have access to your your hard drive. If you go to my computer, you'll have access to your C drive, D drive, however, 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 or how how many hard drives you have. Well, this in my case, I'm booting from virtual machine so it's a little bit different now in here you as you can see here we got the high rents or uh, boot 
boot CD or USB. You can just double click on that and it will open up the higher end uh, menu. From here, as you can see, you have access to tons and tons of softwares that you can actually diagnose the, your computer. So it depends on what is the issue you're having. Um, so let's say, I mean, if you have a virus problem, uh, or your computer is infected with virus all you have to do is just go to antivirus spyware and you can actually there as you can see there are so many softwares that you can actually select and you'll be able to clean your computer I mean we got rootkit we got spybot uh, spybot is for you know uh, browser hijacker if your browser is hijacked or if you want to like uh, check for keyloggers in your computer spy bot will be able to search and destroy that uh, or trojan you can you be able to like clean up with spy bot so this is, this is a very powerful software i mean there are many many more software that you can try out uh like one of my favorites is actually on the recovery you can uh desk desk digger data recovery in case you lost uh deleted something accidentally uh, you can with with the desk digger you'll be able to recover all those um, lost files back uh, there are there are many many more that you that there is so much more you can do that I cannot go over every single one of these but this is a very powerful tool that everybody should have I am gonna exit out of this just to give an idea so that you also have access to this like I showed before that you can uh, you can actually access it so once you plug in your uh, usb i ran you just have you can you can actually access it from your computer while your computer is running so if you want to like clean up your computer uh, you'll be able to do that from here i hope that this video was useful for you if you have any comments or questions you can always uh, leave it on the uh, inbox i'll get back to you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and for more videos to come Thank you.